Community leaders demanding the city of San Francisco stop supporting a program known as Urban Shield. KPIX 5 reporter Jackie Ward explains why they're so opposed. Ahead of this afternoon's Budget and Finance Committee, the Stop Urban Shield Coalition, along with the ACLU of Northern California, encouraged the supervisors to not support an expo that they say militarizes law enforcement. Urban Shield is nothing more than a SWAT team training and weapons fair hosted by people with no interest in the safety of this city. Nearly $22.5 million from the Department of Homeland Security. That is what's at stake for the city and county of San Francisco. Francisco. San Francisco manages that money for 12 counties across the Bay Area and originally had concerns about how some of them would use the funding to support things like Urban Shield. Alameda County hosted Urban Shield in September and said the Expo and Training Convention teaches its officers ways to handle emergencies. Quote, this year we are focused on disaster preparedness. The Bay Area is susceptible to a major earthquake event and we must not forget that well-trained first responders save lives. Humberto Ortiz Silva represents 67 Sueños, a youth organization in Oakland. He says the kids he has worked with says their experience with law enforcement officers has been filled with fear and violence. They have seen the, the flashbang grenades. They have seen the doors being kicked down. They have seen their gates being kicked down in the front of their homes, right? What I've heard from my youth is that they're actually the ones enacting these emergencies. If the board decides to sign the contract with Urban Shield, San Francisco would be a fiscal sponsor through the year 2021. The full board of supervisors will vote on the committee's recommendation at their last meeting of the year. That's on December 12th. In San Francisco, Jackie Ward, KPIX 5.